five with just a lap to go, looking to make it four straight wins at the super speedways. And Where's Kyle, Kyle going to try to make his move, Michael? He'll probably do it down in turn three. He's got just what he wanted. He wanted to be running second when he took the white, and he's positioned right on top of Don's buffer. He's going to count on Terry Cook to go with him when he makes the move to the outside of Tom Bodot on the back straightaway. Will Terry make it three wide, though, and go for the win himself? Here comes somebody on the outside. Yeah, Fitzpatrick out there in the seven. Looks like he's going to try to fall back in line, though, just in front of Taylor Malsum. Hornaday's peeking to the outside. He tucks back in. Who's going to the move right now? White flag for Rowdy Bush. 56th start in the Camping World Truck Series, seeking to win California for the second year in a row. A lot of guys are going to want to see those right side tires, I can tell you that. And I'd say a lot of guys from the from, other series the because it's the it. same tire. But exactly. Just, just think about it, Mike. Nine years ago, they told him, you can't race, you're not old enough, right here at Auto Club Speedway. Driving for Billy Ballou. And that's a real special awesome relationship, job, too. Guys. Yep. Good job, Doug. Doug George, the crew chief, Billy Ballou, the owner, and Rowdy. Kyle Busch wins the San Bernardino County 200, his 10th career victory. We saw how good Kevin Harvick was through three and four earlier in the race. Let's see if he's able to keep that up. Look at him sideways. Kyle Busch sideways. Kyle Busch yeah, wobbles come coming out of four. They and they that closes here. the gap now. One to go. Kyle Busch That's in front of Kevin Harvick. Oh, Harvick lost Harvick a little ground all there. all over the yep. back bumper. Yep. Kyle Busch came down when they came into turn you know, number one, closed the three. door. Let's see if Kevin Harvick has anything for him. Three truck links separate the two as they enter turn three. Oh, he's sideways. He gets a little sideways early in the corner. Keep sideways coming. again. Here That's comes Kevin happen. Harvick coming That's out of turn number happen. four. Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch will win again. Four wins at this race for Kyle Busch. Problems on the back stretch and into turn three and four. We stay green and now the caution comes out. That will mean Kevin Harvick will win at Martinsville. What Kevin Harvick grabbing his fourth career win. And again, as I mentioned, this is the first time he's won outside of Phoenix. What a great <laughs> job. Brand new truck that Ernie Cope and Kevin's guys brought to this racetrack. Got Bounty to sponsor it. Uh, what a super job by Kevin. Good pit strategy. Pitted, for uh, pitted on lap number 94 for fuel. They pitted. We're getting a report they did not take the white flag. Well, I'm wondering what the, uh, as far as, then that, as, that far was, as the prescribed distance, that wasn't the green-white checkered then because we just completed lap 251. But they took the green flag on 49. They didn't take the white on 49. So I don't know. I, I think I think this is going to be an official race, right? The way they're running right now. It's an uphill battle for the track workers as the moisture continues to fall on the racetrack, but they're trying to stay on top of it. Some people would call them jet dryers. Race called them blow dryers. Are on the track. There's the white flag. Just has to survive this lap, and he's got the victory. 1.5 miles remaining for Ron Hornaday. See if he can make it back into victory lane. My point was they had him a lap down at one point, Rick. They had that, that, that 33 truck a lap down. He came back from that, made his lap up, and now sitting there leading the race late in the going. Last year, October, Texas, the last time Ron Hornaday was in victory lane. He's going to take the Longhorn Chevy Silverado back to victory lane at Lowe's Motor Speedway. Remember, a year ago, it was a strategy call for Scott Speed that made it into victory lane for him, and that was his first win in NASCAR. Could we see it again today? The white flag is already in the air. Brian Scott down the backstretch, trying to hold on for his first win in the Camping World Truck Series. Setzer's closing. He dives into turn three and makes some ground on Brian Scott, but he can't get there. He's going to win. Brian Scott 
the win at the Monster Mile. Baby, yeah. A big enough gap now that Todd Bodine has got to think, please get me around one more time here at Texas Motor Speedway. White flag in the air. What a great day it'll be for all the Copart people, Jay Adair and all his family here for the first time. And Todd, Todd can make it another half a lap. They'll be in victory lane. Cruising down the backstretch. He knows he has just about a second and a half over Matt Crafton. Trying to hold on. Once again, breaking the bad luck streak that they've had in the 2009 season. Todd Bodine will win at Texas again. Five times for Bodine. One more time. One That's more a relief time. right there. At least he knows if the caution flies, he's won the race. So he's got a big enough cushion over second. He can just run three-quarter speed over this next lap and win this race. Getting the white flag was a big deal for that kid. We heard him talk earlier about his restarts. He didn't want to have to deal with that. And he's not going to have a restart. He's definitely changing history in the Camping World Truck Series at this racetrack. No one has ever started outside the top 10 and, or outside the top 11 and won this race. 12th, the starting position for Colin Brown. Can he bring it all the way home and all the way to victory lane? Coming out of turn number four, Brown, the final lap. There you go, buddy. Good job. Awesome, man. Way to go. Way to go, buddy. Ron Hornaday has taken the white flag. Dennis Setzer still 12 truck links back. Brian Scott trying a last-ditch effort to get second away. Ron Hornaday looking for his 41st win in the Camping World Truck Series, a continuing record. As he comes out of turn number four, Hornaday will be a repeat winner at the Happy Milwaukee birthday. Mile. Ever now and then the fastest truck wins. And that, this that is certainly a case of that. Case today, the, today, the guy that had the dominant truck was able to bring it home. Matt Crafton and the 15 of Eric Almarola. Here comes the five of Mike Skinner. The white flag goes in the air. The battle for the lead. Two truck links between Hornaday and the 16 of Brian Scott. Oh, Here contact. comes Skinner. Found Almarola on the inside. Almarola takes the position away from both Crafton and Skinner as he chases it up the racetrack. And now a clean racetrack in front of the 33. Hornaday will come to the start finish line and win his second Elvis Trophy in Memphis. Contact their middle of the pack. Does he have anything for Hornaday? The final lap, white flag goes in the air. Hornaday just in front of Skinner. Remember, both of these drivers have won here at Kentucky Speedway. This could be the first repeat winner at Kentucky Speedway. Will Ron Hornaday be able to do it, or will Skinner be able to get him? Down the back stretch they go. He gets a good run off that second turn. Here comes Skinner, all over the back bumper of Hornaday as they go into turn three. Skinner goes to the high side again. Keeping the momentum up. Skinner in the gas. Hornaday coming out of turn number four. Hornaday stays in front of Skinner. Hornaday will win again in Kentucky. Three in a row for Ron Hornaday. 2009, extremely good for Hornaday. That's his fourth win of the season. And as you mentioned, three races in a row for Ron Hornaday. The white flag is in the air. They're side by side coming to the checkered flag. They pulled the white flag back. The leader had given the, the flagman had given the white flag, but they pulled it back. We saw him throw the white flag, and now they, they're going to throw it one more time. This is it. Final lap of the Riley Raceway Park. Ron Hornaday in front of Mike Skinner. Here comes Eric Alvarola on the inside of the aid of Dennis Setzer. Can Hornaday do it? Can he make history? And can Skinner be the spoiler? One turn remaining. Norm Benning can be a bit of a pick for Hornaday. But he's not even going to need that, I don't think, Phil. To the outside, Hornaday will set a record. Four in a row in the, crest, in the Camping World Truck Series. What a race, huh? What a job. And Eric Almarola got that third spot from Setzer for a best career finish. Hornaday coming out of turn four. White flag in the air. One lap to go for history in Hornaday. This is big, folks. This has never happened before. You, you love seeing something. You love seeing athletes accomplish things that no one else has ever done, and that's what's fixing to happen with this 33 truck. They can go another mile. And for Rick Wren, too, all-time winner in the truck series is the crew chief if they can hold it off another corner. They continue to battle for third.
Alan Brown on the inside, Timothy Peters on the outside. But the real history is being made. Ron Hornaday will win five races in the row at the Camping World Truck Series. You know, I'm glad I was here tonight to see that, guys. That's a big piece of history right there. Now, as Kyle Busch takes the white flag, one lap remaining at Bristol to make it two wins in a row at this race facility. Just a textbook performance for that team tonight. He was fast. They hit their pit strategy head on perfect. And now he drops off turn four and takes the checkered flag at Bristol. Kyle Busch, the spoiler for Ron Hornaday at Bristol Motor Speedway. But Kyle Busch gets back to victory lane in NASCAR. Here comes Kyle Busch. White flag will go in the air one more time around Chicago Land Speedway. You're watching a cat that's doing some special things in NASCAR racing right now. Got the win at Bristol last Saturday night and then this weekend trying to win on Friday night in Chicago. Championship battle continues between Hornaday and the 88 of Matt Crafton. Got to be painful for Matt to watch. That position isn't significant. They're on different laps, but Matt knows that Hornaday's riding along in 11th and he's in 14th. The inaugural race at Chicago Land Speedway. The victor, Kyle Busch. For Mike, White at least flag we hope. in the air. Skinner crosses the start finish line. Eric Alvarola second. Colin Brown is third. Final lap. Can Skinner hold on? Does he have enough fuel? I think if he can get to turn three, I think he's going to be okay. Into turn three. He's got a huge lead over second. Mike Skinner coming out of turn number four. He will win the first ever race at Iowa Speedway. The five throwing it into turn three a little bit harder than that 13. Let's see if the momentum on the 13 can do anything as they come back for the white flag. A great battle behind those two for that fourth spot. Crafton trying to battle back as well as he tries to get the best finish he can on the outside of Stacy Compton. Out in front, though, the five of Mike Skinner now has two truck links between himself and Johnny Sauter. Can Skinner make it back-to-back -back wins in the 2009 season? As he comes out of turn number four, Mike Skinner is going to win at Gateway International Raceway. Look at three wide back there for position. Here they come to the white flag. One lap to go. Kyle Busch looking to make it three in a row in the truck series. Hybrid or not. It's a Five great seven. battle for fifth. Stacy Compton, what a good run in that Melling Toyota. What a cool day it is for Stacy Compton. Good to see him up in the top five. Great stories all throughout the top Ooh. five. Johnny Sauter gets a hold to the left rear of Compton. Can he make the pass? Well, it may not be done yet. That's for a top five spot. Johnny Sauter takes the position away from Stacy Compton. Coming out of turn number four, Kyle Busch is going to make it three in a row in the Camping World Truck Series. He wins the hell of a good 200. He wins the hell of a good 200. <laughs> that was a great 200. The, the hell of a good 200. Yes, he sure did. One to go for Johnny Sauter. White flag in the air. A mile and a half remains between he and his first win in the Camping World Truck Series. He's got over a two-second lead over his teammate right now. He just make, has to make sure he has enough fuel to get to the end. Down the Nella straight away he goes. Half a lap between Johnny Sauter and that first win. A flawless three and four. He comes out to the grandstand. The fans on their feet. Johnny Sauter will win at Las Vegas. What a great job by Johnny Sauter, that Thor Sport team. One, two, finish for Thor Sports. And Jason White does get his career best finish in third. This is it. Coming out of turn number four, the white flag will go in the air. One lap away from his first win in the truck series. Timothy Peters makes it through one and two. He has a 1.7 second lead over Todd Bodine. Does he have enough fuel to get through three and four? Rolling through the corner. Coming out, turn number four. Checkered flags in the air. Yes, Timothy yes, Peters will yes, win yes, at Martinsville. Yes, yes, yes. One lap of racing to go when they cross the stripe. Todd Bodine looking to make it five in a row on the super speedways. Anything happens now, it's Todd Bodine's race. The caution flies, he wins.
Matt Kraken still has a bit of a run on the outside. He's even with the 51 of Kyle Busch. And, and he has Colin Brown behind him, one of the stronger trucks today. Can that outside line move? Down the back stretch they go. Look at them all moving around, all the bump drafting going on. Todd Bodine, Kyle Busch, one and two down the back stretch. Here, Here comes, comes the Crafton. 88 of Matt Crafton. A good push from the six Keep of Paul and Brown. He gets shuffled back. Keep Todd Bodine goes up high. Now they're moving two and three wide out of turn four. Todd Bodine hugging that yellow line as they come out of turn four. Just the triangle to go. Four Guard wide through bottom. the triangle. Here Run comes outside. Kyle Busch. He goes to the outside as they come to the stripe. Kyle Busch will win right at there. Talladega. Good job, dude. Good job. What a move by Kyle Busch and his teammate, Eric Almarola. They figured it out. Kyle figured it out. All he needed was a teammate behind him. Coming out of turn four, Jim Lopez, the flagman, grabs oh, the white flag and goes in the air. One lap of racing to go from Texas. That's going to have to do something quick. Doesn't gain anything there. If he gains anything, it's minimal. Kyle Busch has won in California and Atlanta. And then the last four races he's been in, Bristol, Chicago, New Hampshire, and Talladega. Can he add Texas to the list and start off his weekend for the trifecta? Kyle Busch comes to the start-finish line. Kyle Busch wins in Texas. White flag in the air, one mile to go from Phoenix. Problem on the racetrack. Taylor Malsum gets turned around. That will give the win to Kevin Harvick. Harvick wins at Phoenix once again. And Ron Hornaday will be our 2009 Camping World Truck Series champion. Took the white. Ron there Hornaday, it is. buddy, you did it. Listen in to Rick Wren celebrating. Kevin Harvick with a great start to his weekend. Get a little bump there from Kyle Busch. Across the start finish line, Ron Hornaday will be your 2009 Camping World Truck Not Series right, champion. Job. What a night for Kevin Harvick Incorporated. He wins the race and his truck wins the championship. That is what a night is all about. Huh? <laughs> Todd Bodine's right behind him. Also a little congratulatory tap at the back there. And you see the two trucks coming to the start finish line. And I'm guessing a little double burnout here. Race winner and champion side by side. Synchronized burnouts. I think the 51 year old is uh, kind of showing Kevin Harvick at just 33 how to do a burnout. Well, he's won more races this year than Kevin. He has some more experience doing it. <laughs> Plus, Kevin's got that new engine. He must really like it. He wants to be good to it. He doesn't want to overturn it. So he, he lost the burnout competition, though. He won the race, but he didn't do as good as burnout as Hornaday did. Let's hear from our championship crew chief. He's standing by with Adam Alexander. Sauter tried to stay in. White, White flag. flag in the air. One lap of racing to go. Kevin Harvick trying to make it three wins on the 2009 season. He has grabbed the owner's championship. Now a great battle for second. Look out, boys. It's going to get rough here on this last lap. Colin Brown trying to get that. Oh, look at Matt Crafton's going by on the inside. Here comes Crafton trying to take second away. And we know he'll drive it down in there. Here he goes. Crafton hard through three and four. Coming out of turn number four. Kevin Harvick is going to win again in the Camping go. World Truck Series. Freaking job, guys. That's the way to put an end to a year right there. <laughs> Yes, sir, buddy. That's for sure. Two in a row for Kevin Harvick.